In today's exciting video, we're going to be hanging the pool skimmer on the fence. Well, of course it would start raining when we were just about to get out here and paint our hooks. But this is actually a pretty good thing. Our pool needs a little bit of water. And I was going to be filling it up today, running the hose and actually spending money to fill the pool up. But this is much better. This is free water. It has finally stopped raining, so we're going to get started with our project today. The problem is this pole, the skimmer pole, it's always laying on something, laying in the way. Right now it's on the swing, so I think we're going to put it on the fence back here. I just want to hang it up and keep it out of the way. I use it almost every day, every other day. We use it to skim the pool and also to brush the sides and of course we have to brush the steps and we brush the benches so i went to home depot today and i bought some hooks these are heavy duty rafter hangers they're coated in vinyl one problem with these they are metal and they're not galvanized or anything so i'm assuming that they're gonna rust well my fence is black and i think i've already got some black spray paint so i'm gonna paint these and then we're gonna hang them on the fence these were three dollars each so that's not bad nine dollars well good news i do have some paint i thought i had some black so this project is pretty cheap since i already had this i think the first thing we're gonna do let's put these on the fence before I go painting them and let's put them on the fence and actually see if they're going to work. I don't know where. We're just going to put them right here. All right, so and this other one something like that. Grab our pole. It rained a little bit, but not enough. I may have to still put the hose in here and put some more water in the pool. Uh, that's going to work pretty good. These hooks are too far apart, though. Why do I have three, you may ask? I got this brush, too. If I had a wooden fence, like a wooden privacy fence, I would have just bought... They had some better hooks, really, that were kind of round and they had screw holes so a wooden fence i could have just screwed some hooks i don't want to put holes in this metal fence so i just kind of needed something to hang on here so that's why i got the third we need two hooks for the pole and then the third one will you know pretty simple something like that it'll hold the brush let's start painting these things okay let's uh, take these off since we know we're going to use them and we're not going to return them. It is so humid out here right now after raining. I'm going to sand these just a little bit to rough them up. Uh, this is 100 grit. It's just what I have. Next, I'm going to wipe them down a little bit with some rubbing alcohol. Hopefully that's going to clean them up good get all the fine dust and stuff off of there and I guess this being alcohol should uh, dry pretty quick yeah that's just trying to do a better prep job so the paint sticks to them good I think the plan is just to basically cover this with a few maybe two or three good coats of paint the silver part overlap onto the vinyl a little bit and we'll see how that goes how are we going to paint these well i just happened to find this what is this one inch uh, this is inch and a quarter piece of pvc in my basement i think i bought this actually for my green screen project and i ended up not using it so we just got it propped up on the fence there hopefully these don't fall into the mud since I don't have any grass growing here all right spray paint now this says paint and primer in one I don't really know if that matters 
I'm wearing shorts and no shoes. So hopefully I don't paint my feet. It would probably be an improvement on my ugly toes anyway. Oh, that's going to be nice. Look at those runs already. Good job. Maybe you're thinking, hey, uh, what about the overspray? Well, I already have a black fence. And uh, check out this. This fence is only a year old and look how it's rusting right here. So obviously when they, I don't know if the fence company that I paid to put this fence in, maybe they build these gates themselves. They weld them up. I mean, look at this. Maybe while I'm out here, I should touch up some of this. Looks terrible. So, if we get a little overspray on the fence, it's not a big deal to me. It's black. Although the fence may be gloss, and this is, this is flat. So this says fast dry time at 10 minutes or less. I'm gonna put two or three more coats of paint on there. So I'm gonna wait maybe five or 10 minutes. It's pretty hot out here. It's like 85 degrees, very humid. So it's probably gonna dry pretty quick. Hopefully these are dry now. I probably have five coats of paint on these all together. Can we carry, let's do two at a time. Not sure where we need to put this. We'll try right there. That paint's still a little bit tacky. Hopefully it doesn't rain again. That looks pretty good. This actually needs to be real close. found this little carabiner clip. I think that's what you call it, carabiner. I like this being over here. It's out of the way, but I'm a little concerned that the wind is going to take off on this thing. So how about that? Now the wind can't take it off. Well, looks like we got us a friend in the swimming pool. We got us a little snake. He's on the move. Do snakes naturally know how to swim? Look at that guy. Got his tongue going. I guess the walls are too slick. He can't get up. kind of snake it is but oh 
All right, let's get the uh, skimmer and get this guy out of here. You got your phone? Yeah. Take a picture of this guy before he jumps off of here. I want to take a good picture of it so we can identify it. Well, what we're going to do is gently place him out in the backyard. Normally, I don't uh, try to mess with snakes because I think most of them are beneficial. I put this snake out in the woods and the very next day he was back in the pool or maybe his twin was. I looked this thing up and it looks like it is a decay brown snake. As far as I can tell, it's pretty much harmless to people. We've had this pool for one year and this is the third time that a snake has been in the pool. These two days in a row would be the second and third time. Normally when I find snakes in the pool, I try not to mess with them. Well, I get them out of the pool, but I just put them over in the grass or put them in the woods because uh, most snakes I think are beneficial. My brother lives not too far from me and he has found a lot of copperheads at his property. I don't think I've ever seen one here. So that's really the only thing around here in Georgia maybe that I would be worried about is a copperhead. These mosquitoes are eating me alive out here. It's around 6.30. We've had a very productive day. I'm happy with the way this turned out, hanging on the fence. There's not so much clutter over here under the back deck. The sun is going down. I'm going to go in and eat some barbecue. If you made it this far in my video, thank you for watching.